It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Bills and the Chiefs, and it's coming up next. From one of the loudest venues in the National Football League, you get a look there at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Buffalo Bills. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, you think about our quarterback matchup here. we got a couple of guys who are definitely dangerous when you get down near the red zone. Josh Allen to the Bills, Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs. And you used the perfect word there, Brandon, dangerous. Yeah, they're dangerous just about anywhere on the field, but the red zone, that's where they absolutely excel, and I think it's because they can keep defenses off balance. You know they can run, you know they can pass. The RPOs come into play, but the biggest thing is when the pocket breaks down, they can create something out of nothing and sting a defense. about ready to get us going and we are underway from Arrowhead taken from about the 12 and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback and when you think of Patrick Mahomes you start to think about all of his attributes and you realize very quickly you can't just put him into one box no matter how the game proceeds no matter what is needed he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. They go play action, now Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Throwing now is Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Nicole Hardman, 57 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. The one thing that we know for sure, do not question the arm strength of Patrick Mahomes, one of the strongest around. And we knew that this offense was going to try and put pressure on the secondary. That was something they talked about with us. They knew that they had an advantage, pressed it, and there you go. Big play for a touchdown on their very first possession. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. 
So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. For the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Well, the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both, and at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine. to the air, Allen. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second and five. Here's Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 36. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 36. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Three yards the game there, second down. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position is to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put in. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 26. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, 
They're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third of inches. Play action. Now it's Allen. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Sean McDermott didn't hesitate. They'll go for it on fourth. Singletary, they'll run for it. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. No dice for Sean McDermott in the offense. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. So their first drive of the game already trailing, having given up points. A little surprised that they went for it, right? Maybe the big guy, the head coach, senses this is going to be a shootout type of a game. That they've got to match them point for point as opposed to, hey, we'll, we'll get them later. Maybe he just has that sense, and that's why he decided to go for it there. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Edwards Alaire on the counter. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now here's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Thirty-five yard line. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing is Mahomes on third. Robinson, a first down and in so. And down to the 19-yard line. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. 
Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And it's caught. Touchdown! Nicole Hardman. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. So they've had two drives, and he's had the two receiving touchdowns. And how about a game plan where you decide to force feed or feature someone, and it works. First two drives, as you noted, end up in touchdown passes. I think they're going to keep going to him until the defense makes any kind of an adjustment. Butker on for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. A drive that time of six plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, OK, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Nick Bolton there on the tackle. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Let's go! That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. On first down, Allen, and his throw is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Allen. It's complete to Diggs. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Allen. 
Now they go screen. It's complete. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Second down and five. Here's Allen to throw it. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points, but he could not get that to stick, and that is a golden opportunity wasted there. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Allen to throw once more. And the Chiefs are going to get it. Melvin Ingram dropping the hammer off the edge. Well, when you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. The long-distance shot before break comes up empty, but now Charles flipped the script. Time for likely one more play as field position becomes an issue. Yeah, when you talk about field position, remember, if this kick is missed, the ball comes back to where? the spot that they snapped it from. So field position becomes a factor. I think at this spot, you might also want to think about throwing the Hail Mary. You know, put the ball up in the air. Maybe you can get six out of it instead of three. Yeah, see what happens. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So we've come upon halftime here in KC with the Chiefs on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. Next-gen stats from that first half for the Bills. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, they were much more successful throwing the football than their counterparts, as you can see the numbers there. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. trail here but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports and this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter and right out of the gate they face what you think could be a pretty important drive I would say so you know they're down two scores that's not the end of the world it wasn't the strongest of first halves but for them to start calling back They've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. 
Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Fair to say, it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. This defense is just flat getting after it. They've not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here's Matt Hawk now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 34. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Here's Mahomes to throw. And going deep for Hill. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there. Second and 20. Mahomes now to throw. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And this is taken in at the five. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Orlando Brown, the former Raven, the guilty party. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Now the homes. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And he will lose yardage here back to his own six. All told, it's a loss of eight on the play. And that'll bring up a third down and very long. Mahomes going to throw. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Gregory Russo, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. 
A little soul searching now? I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on yeah, the field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at about the 32. Singletary to get the drive started. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Allen going to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. This D wanting to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. away and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback Buffalo set to get the football back here now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Allen to try again after the pick six. Looking for Beasley, got him on the slant. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a game of fire. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling. Held it to an okay game. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Flushed out right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy, make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. 
They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Second and seven. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Dancing to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Then the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And he is going to have go, a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. Throwing now is Allen. His throw incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Here's Allen. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interceptor this entire game. The Bills on third down. They've had good success, 5 for 8 to this point. This is third and 14. And again, it's Allen. On the left side, he finds Beasley. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Hey, Throwing on first down is Allen. And Diggs has it. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Now Allen again. Forced out to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen from 17 yards out. And the Bills are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably saying your chances still aren't great. But now, you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off.
Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Allen. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. But they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters. So I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything. And they force an incompletion there. Here they come, second and 10 now from the 10. Now Allen, that's taken in by Knox. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. In this situation, the dictation is coming from the defense, right? They're gonna tell you, you can have six, seven yards, do that all the way downfield. Let's just go ahead and take the time off the clock. I think they've gotta start attacking vertically. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Allen. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. One final try here for Allen. And this is caught by Beasley. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Now you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Throwing is Allen. 
And he's taken down, a chief sack. Melvin Ingram in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Games were having no gold. He sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. Here's Allen. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it, but time's definitely running out. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Allen. And this one is incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. And they're indeed gonna go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now Allen, gotta have this one. He's gonna let it fly. Well, this is taken in, it's complete. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. And a really unbelievable play there on fourth and long. On the defensive side of the ball, that's the definition of frustrated. You get them to fourth down, and then you allow a chunk play like that in the passing game. Almost felt as if that go. play was drawn go. up in the dirt on the sideline. They pulled that from a game plan that wasn't this game, and they still made it work. So first and 10 now from the 30. Allen to throw once more. Throwing for his running back and he's got him complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. The Bills are gonna go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Allen off the play fake. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Boy, this crowd is on pins and needles now because anytime you see the ball heading for the end zone, you really hold your breath, and they come out of their seats. That one falls incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Uh, he's got it, and he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This is the type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any 